Every comedian starting out walks into an audition with high hopes, uh, a racing pulse, and a piece of material. Uh, this is the piece of material I used when I got my job on Laugh-In. Uh, so it goes back uh, a few years. Um, your response is appreciated. <laughs> this, this, uh, this piece is about a woman who has a problem. Um, and many of us have similar problems. I think, you know if you, you, I think you know you have this problem if when you're leaving a party, you overhear someone say, did she have a purse? <laughs> My name is Lucille W. I'm a rubber freak. <laughs> it's all right, I can talk about it now. Of course, when there, there was a time when I couldn't. When I look back on it, I think it all started with rubber bands. I wasn't actually swallowing them in those days. I just sort of munched on them. <laughs> Sometimes I'd take one and stretch it from one eye tooth to the other, sort of twang on it. <laughs> then one day I sat down to write a lyric for one especially good tune I'd twanged. I must have blacked out. Because when I came to, I realized I'd eaten the eraser off my pencil. Wasn't no time at all, I was up to 20 pencils a day. All my friends, my relatives, they started saying, Lucille, don't you think you've had enough? <laughs> I thought I could handle it, I really did. I thought I could quit any time I wanted. Instead, I became a secret eraser eater. I started to take all my household money and spend it on art gum. I just couldn't seem to get enough. I was putting on weight. One day my husband came home early. I was just finishing off a typewriter eraser. He caught me with the brush sticking out of my mouth. That was the first lie. I told him I was chewing on my eyelashes. From then on, it was just straight downhill all the way. I went right on the heavy stuff. Things started to disappear around the house. Oh, at first I was careful, you know, door stops. <laughs> Backs off the shag rugs. <laughs> Tip off mother's cane. Sometimes I'd be playing cards with the girls. I don't know what would come over me. I'd just jump up, run into the kitchen, and eat a spatula. <laughs> Pretty soon, though, I just didn't seem to care anymore. The garden hose went. <laughs> On rainy days, I started to hang out around grade school cloakrooms. It was the court psychiatrist, God love him, he saved my life, he really did. He told him, this woman is no criminal, She's, she needs help. I was down on my hands and knees thanking that man. I ate his crepe soles. <laughs> well, it's been a long, hard battle back, but I'm well now. Of course, just to remind myself, I still keep a snow tire in the closet. <laughs> But thanks to medical technology, major breakthroughs in psychiatric care, I'm no longer a woman obsessed with an unnatural craving. I'm just another normal, socially acceptable drunk.